let us continue our chapter 14 of class 9th that is statistics in previous videos i have explained how to prepare bar graph histogram for the given grouped frequency distribution table also i have explained how to read the main features of the graph how to draw frequency polygon and how to compare given two data but every time it's not possible every time we plot the graph and then do the comparative study to get some conclusion from the given observations there are some more terms in statistics mean median and mod of the data these terms are generally known as measure of central tendency so in this video we are going to discuss these measures of central tendency that is mean median mode first we will understand what is the actual meaning of this mean median mod and also we will learn how to find these terms for any given observation for any given data so first of all let us understand what does mean stand for mean ka actual life mein meaning kya hota hai in common language mathematical language mean bolte hain common language mein average bhi bolte hain means average kitna hai let's take an example for suppose a girl divya and she is watching tv regularly as you all watch so on monday she watched tv for 4 hours and on tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday then finally sunday to ye pure week ka hame observation diya hua hai ki monday 4 ghante tv dekha tuesday 6 hours wednesday 3 hours thursday 5 friday only 2 hours and saturday 7 hours and sunday fun day she watched tv for 8 hours okay so ye sab alag alag number likhe hue hain monday ko itne ghante dekha hai tuesday itne hours wednesday this much hours so if somebody ask that daily how many hours you watch tv agar divya se koi poochta hai ki aap daily kitne ghante tv dekhte hain so will she give answer 8 hours no will she give answer 2 अगर वो टू आवर्स भी आंसर करती है तो एकदम से मम्मी बोलेंगी अच्छा दो ही घंटे देखते हो तुम टीवी नो no, ज्यादा देखते हो है ना सो so, इनमें से कौन सा नंबर आंसर किया जाए कि नहीं मैं लगभग लगभग इतना देख लेती हूँ कभी कभी छुट्टी वाले दिन ज्यादा टीवी देख लेती हूँ बट वैसे मैं कम देखती हूँ तो इन सब नंबर में से फोर आर सिक्स आर थ्री फाइव टू सेवन एट एवरेज अप्रोक्सीमेट लगभग कितने घंटे डेली टीवी वॉच किया जा रहा है so that average if we want to calculate that average so that average can be calculated like add all the numbers add all the information all the data and divide by number of observation kitne din ka observation hai ye 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 days ka ye observation likha hua hai so divided by 7 to get the average on adding these all we are getting 5 hours so अगर पूरे वीक का एवरेज निकाला जाए मतलब अप्रोक्सीमेट हमें बताना है कि लगभग चार पांच घंटे तो तुम टीवी देखते हो है ना तो दैर इज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट कि पांच घंटे अच्छा कभी कभी तो मैंने दो ही घंटे देखा है बस अच्छा दो घंटे देखा है समटाइम आपने दो घंटे टीवी देखा है बट समाइम आपने एट आवर्स सेवन आवर्स इतना भी तो टीवी वॉच किया है सो ऑन एन एवरेज पूरे वीक का जो एवरेज निकल के आया है सो ये एवरेज हम क्या मानते हैं कि लगभग डेली डेली का ये डेटा दिया हुआ है तो डेली लगभग फाइव आवर्स टीवी देखा गया है सो दिस थिंग इज कॉल्ड मीन ठीक है और एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं जैसे मान लिया आपके वीकली टेस्ट होते हैं है ना सो स्टूडेंट्स आर हैविंग देयर वीकली टेस्ट एंड देयर वीकली टेस्ट आर ऑफ टेन मार्क्स अब एक टेस्ट में मान लिया आपके बहुत कम नंबर आए एक टेस्ट में मार्क्स टू रह गए हमारे दूसरे टेस्ट में हमने थोड़ी और मेहनत की वी गॉट फाइव मार्क्स इन अनदर टेस्ट वी गॉट सिक्स मार्क्स इन अनदर टेस्ट वी गॉट एट मार्क्स बट इन द नेक्स्ट वन अगेन वी गॉट सेवन मार्क्स और एक टेस्ट में हमने बहुत ज्यादा मेहनत की तो हमारे नाइन मार्क्स आ गए ठीक है सो अब किसी टेस्ट में टू है किसी टेस्ट में नाइन मार्क्स है कौन से मार्क्स कंसिडर करने चाहिए अगर कम लेंगे तो आप बोलोगे नहीं मेरे नाइन भी तो आए थे और अगर हम ज्यादा मार्क्स लेते हैं तो टीचर बोलेंगे अच्छा एक टेस्ट में आपके दो नंबर भी थे है ना सो वी कैन टेक नाइन एंड वी कैन टेक टू ऑल्सो सो इन दिस सिचुएशन क्या करेंगे इन सब का एवरेज निकाल देते हैं ठीक है अप्रोक्सीमेट सो मीन कितना निकल के आता है मीन निकालने का तरीका सम ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन इन सबको एड कर दीजिए टू प्लस फाइव 
plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 divide by how many observation are these 1 2 3 4 5 6 observation so on addition we will get 37 divided by 6 6.1 so this 6.1 number is the average marks okay in any test 2 marks 5 marks and in few tests we worked hard we got 8 7 9 so average is 6.1 okay so now you got the meaning of the mean mean ka thoda meaning hame clear hua so now come to the definition mean or average of a number of observations is the sum of values of all the observation jaisa ki hum in questions mein kar rahe hain sum of values of all the observations divided by total number of observation theek hai so this is the formula based definition and for understanding ek hame koi bhi data diya hua hai and we want to tell approximate lagbhag hai na how many hours you are watching tv so we just tell the approximate number first of all aap se study ke bare mein pucha jaye ki aap daily kitne ghante padhai karte hain one day two hours one day three hours one day five hours that much confusion that confusing data we can't tell we will tell approximate three hours I do study है ना in this way so approximate कैसे निकाला जाएगा again one month का जो study time है उसको एक rough data बनाते हैं so if we make the rough data एक दिन हम तीन घंटे पढ़ाई किया then two hours the five hours मान लिया अगले दिन exam है तो आपने उस दिन आठ घंटे पढ़ाई किया then next day you relaxed you study only for one hour उसके बाद हमने कोई पढ़ाई नहीं की only zero hour then again two hour five hour seven hour so in this way, if we take the rough data of study hours, okay, and to calculate average, again add all these numbers, divide by number of days, jitne din ka aapne data collect kiya hai, okay, then you will get average timing, ki humne approximate lagbag lagbag daily per day itna study kiya hai. So conclusion of the explanation, mean of any data, we calculate by this formula, sum of all observation, जितनी भी ऑब्जर्वेशन आपको दी हुई है उन सबको एड ऑन कीजिए सम ऑफ ऑल ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड मीन इज डिनोटेड बाय दिस नोटेशन एक्स एंड द लाइन ओवर एक्स एंड इट विल बी रीड एज एक्स बार नाउ लेट एस टेक वन मोर एग्जांपल इफ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ डेटा इज गिवन देन हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द मीन नाउ इन दिस सिचुएशन if we calculate mean, then it will be very difficult and very lengthy. If we add all the observation, in sab ko add karte hai, we'll write like this. So if all these observations are represented in this way, these are the weight of only 20 boys. And for suppose 100 boys or 200, so large observation and we find the mean by this way, then it will be little bit impossible, very lengthy. Okay, so in this situation, if some observations are repeating, means which observations jo repeat ho rahi hai. Let's observe here. For suppose this number 30, again one more 30 is here. Then this one is also 30, then 30 and 30. This number is written 5 times. Either add this number 5 times 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. And you know multiplication rule. Repeatedly addition means multiplication. इस नंबर को फाइव टाइम्स ऐड करें या फिर फाइव से मल्टीप्लाई करें। इफ द नंबर इज एडेड फाइव टाइम्स और मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव, इट विल गिव द सेम रिजल्ट 150। सो इट कैन बी इन इजी वे। जो नंबर्स रिपीट हो रहे हैं, उन नंबर्स को उनकी फ्रीक्वेंसी से, फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ मींस एस मेनी टाइम्स द नंबर इज so it's an easy way. Just write down the observation. We used to call it x and multiply it by as many times it's repeating. Multiply it by f. So now let's have a look on frequency distribution table for this data. So frequency table is like this. The observation 28 written twice here. Okay. Observation 30 already we have seen it has written five times. Next observation 31 is written 31 and 31 twice. So it will give the same answer if you are adding 31 plus 31. If you are doing 31 plus 31 or you are doing 31 multiply by 2. Okay. So both the working 
will give the same answer. But this way, if we multiply it by the frequency number, it can reduce our working. Okay. So, conclusion is, if frequency is given in any question, find out the product of F and X. And we used to write I here. I means first observation, first frequency, second observation, second frequency, third observation, third frequency, corresponding frequency for the observation. So we just find out the product of F and X, frequency and the observation. So 28 multiply by 2, then 30 multiply by 5, in this way 31 by 2, 34 by 3, again 35 by 3, 40 by 3, 42 by 2. So in this way you got all the products. Now in this frequency table we used to calculate this notation is sigma and denoted for summation means total. So we used to write sigma fi that is sum of all the frequency numbers which will be equal to total number of observations 2 plus 5 7 9 9 18 and 2 20. In the question weight of 20 boys were given. So sum of frequency it should be 20 and now calculate sigma of fi and xi sum of these numbers. This sigma fi xi will give you the same total which you get from here. Okay. So now on multiplication and on addition we are getting the total 679. Okay. Now students remember this formula whenever in any question frequency is given. So first of all you will calculate fi xi this product you will calculate and find the sum of all the frequency and sum of all fi xi sum of all these products okay then use the formula for mean sigma fi xi upon sigma fi always whenever frequency is given you will use this formula now you understood also this sigma fi xi is giving the sum of all observations okay let's write down this uh, 679 upon all observation 20 so it has given us 33.95 kg. So 20 boys ka jo ye sara weight ka data given tha hume. On an average, har ek bache ka jo weight hai, that is approximately, that is 33.95 kg. Now let us understand what's the meaning of median for any given information. So when the given data is arranged in ascending or descending order then the middle most observation is called median here it's very important to arrange the data in ascending or descending order remember this thing whenever you have to calculate median for any given data first of all we will arrange all the information all the observation in ascending or descending order this is the first step to calculate median then the middlemost observation is called median. So let us take some examples. For example, if we write the height of 11 players and height is given in centimeter. Height of 11 players is given to us like this 163, 160 and all. Okay. And we have to calculate the median height. So first step to calculate the median is to arrange the data in ascending or descending order. So just for the convenience, uh, we are taking ascending order. So like this, we have arranged these heights in ascending order. Now median means just middle number, which is written in the Okay, so to find out the middle number, first of all, we have to find total observations. Total number of observations is hai? Well, in this question, it is given 11 players. Otherwise, we have to count. So total 11 numbers are written here. So middle, bilkul beach mein kaun sa number aega? Let's observe by inspection. Isko observe karke dekhte hai ki beach mein kaun sa number aata hai. So if we cancel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers from this side and 5 numbers from this side. Total 11 numbers were there. So 5 we have left this side, 5 this side. So clearly the middle term is 178. Okay, so median for this observation will be so median and median of what? Kis is the median nikal rayam? Median of height. Okay, so median height will be written. Median height is 
178 सेंटीमीटर ठीक है सो दिस इज फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड नाउ लेट्स डिराइव अ फॉर्मूला दिस 11 ऑब्जर्वेशन दीज आर ऑड नंबर्स ओके सो वेन एवर देयर विल बी ऑड नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन अगर आपके पास ऑड नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन है सो हाउ यू विल गेट दिस नंबर वी विल जस्ट राइट एन दैट इज नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन प्लस वन एड वन टू इट and divide by 2 okay so if i calculate by this one 11 terms were there then add 1 11 plus 1 12 upon 2 12 upon 2 that is sixth term is median now you can count the terms from the given observation 1 2 3 4 5 6th term okay so further we will remember this formula if n is odd odd number of terms are given then clearly n plus 1 upon 2th term okay n plus 1 upon 2th term first calculate this number and then we will take this term as median when number of terms will be even in that case how we will calculate median let's understand that also with the help of an example in example 2 we have written weight of 8 students that is uh, 30 45 38 and weights are given in kg okay so here you can observe that number of terms n is equals to 8 that is even okay so to find out median the very essential step sabse pehle arrange all the data in ascending order you can arrange in descending order also we are writing it in ascending order first write the smallest one so these are now ascending order and we want to find out the middle term so how we will approach to the middle term uh, let's leave uh, three terms from left side and let's leave three terms from the right side also so we are getting two terms here 38 and 40 and if we leave them also if we leave this also and this also then nothing will be left with us so we have to consider these two terms we can't say that 38 is the middle one if you take 38 as middle term then it will be disbalanced this side three terms and this side four terms and if you are taking 40 as middle term then four terms this side 1 2 3 4 this side and three this side so dono terms ko middle term consider karna padega we have to consider these both the terms as middle term so what about median in case of even number of terms median is always average of these two average means 38 plus 40 divide by 2 Let's include it as a formula. In this question, हमने यहाँ से समझ लिया three terms left this side, three terms left this side. So these two will be the middle most. But every time it will be very inconvenient to write in this way. So let's conclude a formula. How can we find out median in case of even number of terms? So this thirty eight. How are you getting thirty eight? Thirty eight is the one, two, three, fourth term. Thirty eight is the fourth term of the observation, and next four zero forty is the fifth term of the observation. Okay. So how you will get fourth term? Total number of terms n is equals to eight. So if we just do n by two, divide by two, then you will get the fourth term. Okay. And how fifth term? By this n by two, if you add one, that is eight upon two plus one. So we are getting fifth term. And after that, what will be median? Median is average of these two terms. So let's conclude our explanation. to a formula so case second when n is even then median will be n upon 2th term this will be the middle term and another middle term that will be n upon 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is next one and median means average of these two so add these two terms and divide by 2 i think now formula and explanation might be clear so important thing to calculate median observe that the number of observation the given number of terms is even or odd sabse pehle to ye decide karna hai the terms are even or terms are odd in case of odd number of terms you will find median according to this formula and plus 1 upon 2 and in case of even terms 
you will find median by this formula and don't forget to arrange the data in ascending or descending order let me take one more example so i'm taking this example find the median of these observations 2 10 9 9 5 2 3 7 11 so first of all sabse pehla kaam kya karna hai count the number of terms number of terms here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay second thing arrange them in ascending order it's very essential step arrange them in ascending order so it will be like this now as the number of terms 9 that is odd okay so median will be in case of odd number of terms what we have to do n plus 1 upon 2 means 9 plus 1 upon 2 9 plus 1 upon 2 that is 5 so 5 means fifth term count the terms here 1 2 3 4 and fifth term fifth term that is 7 is the median okay let's take one more example for even number of observations in this example ages of 10 teachers in years in a school are given like this 32 years 44 years 53 years teachers ki age given hai. and we have to find out the median age so sabse pehla kaam, first of all what we have to do arrange them in ascending order so in ascending order these are like this now number of terms n is equals to 10 teachers is given and once when you arrange them in ascending order जब आप इन्हें ascending order में arrange करेंगे, after that count the number of observations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so that make sure कोई term ascending order में लिखने में miss तो नहीं हो गई है है ना? Many time it happens that when we arrange the terms in ascending order one or two observation we missed while counting, okay? So after writing ascending order count all the number of terms to make sure that you have written all the terms okay all the observations now number of terms n is 10 here so just write down it is even so in case of even we will find median by this formula so first of all just write down n upon 2 that is 10 upon 2 that is fifth term one we have to take fifth term then second one is n upon 2 plus 1 another thing n upon 2 plus 1 th term ये जो भी number आएगा वो term हमें find out करनी है तो so it will be 10 upon 2 already you have calculated 10 upon 2 5 so simply plus 1 आपको 1 ही add करना है okay so 10 upon 2 5 plus 1 that is 6th term now count these terms from the given question 5th and 6 just count the observation 1 2 3 4 5th we have to take and 6th we have to take so 5th observation is 40 and 6th observation is 44 so median will be average of these two terms 40 plus 44 divide by 2 that is 42 years this question may ages the with the years may so median will be 42 years now next measure of central tendency is mod. Mod is the most frequently occurring observation. Means jo observation sabse zyada bar repeat ho rahi hai. That is coming again and again and again. Or you can say the observation which is having maximum frequency. Sabse zyada frequency. Okay. So for example number of goals scored by a team in 10 matches. 10 matches mein ek team ne goal score ki hai. In one match 2 goals then 3, 4, 5 goals scored. In another match 0 goal then 1, 3, 3, 4, 3. So find the mod score. Maximum repetition. Sabse zyada goal. Mod means that number which is repeated again and again. So you can observe here clearly 3 goals in one match, in second match, in third match, in four match. Four matches mein three, 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 three goals ki hai. And if you think about any other number, four goals. Four goals are done only in two matches. Okay. So maximum frequency, maximum repeating number is three. Mod score is three goals. Okay. Let me take one more example. In case frequency is given in the question. Like this transport used by 70 students is given below. Transport used by uh, 70 students. Like four students use car. 27 use bus to go to school or to go somewhere 11 students are using a scooter 20 are using bicycle and 8 
are using rickshaw now the question is find a model transport sometimes it is written as model also model transport means transport used by maximum number of students so clearly yahan pe count karne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai clearly maximum frequency is 27 okay so most of the students are coming by bus so model transport is model transport or you can say mod for this question is bus okay which is having maximum frequency that is 27 okay so i hope these terms now mean median mode are more clear to you so in our next video we will be on your phone screen or laptop screen with a solution and explanation of exercise 14.4 till then stay tuned enjoy life enjoy maths as it's easy